I don't know if I can taste this. It tastes like a granola bar, almost like breakfast bars. Anyway, <laughs> this video is because I made some homemade cookies. I made these cookies with oatmeal, banana, and it says dry fruit, so I used craisins. It's like a dried cranberry, right? So this one here, I don't know if I told y'all, I love like bready stuff, cookies. And stuff like that and I needed something to curb that 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 cookie monster in me I'm like a recovering cookie addict like for real so I asked one of the girls in the group that I'm in you know about these cookies because she put a recipe for some cookies that she made and I asked her again and she sent me the recipe and oh, I made them so if you want to find out how to make these cookies or actually, you know what? These could be great breakfast bars if you make them longer. Either way it goes. Um, I did a tutorial on it. So I hope y'all enjoy this tutorial. Also, too, my son's birthday is tomorrow. <laughs> he's going to be 18 years old. <laughs> okay, let me stop because I'm going to cry with that. But he's going to be 18 years old, so we're going to go and get him a cake and stuff today. Um, even though he doesn't want it. He's so... No, I don't want a cake. But we're going to get him a cake anyway. So I'm going to take some of these cookies for me just to keep me from eating the cake. <laughs> so, all right. If you want to find out about how to make these cookies, keep watching. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Bye. What up, Tubies? Okay, so I'm about to show you how I make cookies without sugar or flour. I got this recipe from a friend in a group that I'm on on Facebook. So we're going to start off. We're going to start off with a banana. Well, actually, you only need three things. You need a banana, some oatmeal. It says rolled oats, but I have, like, a whole big pack of oatmeal. Um, remember, I bought it, that big bulk pack. So I'm just using maple brown sugar, oatmeal, one pack. And some dried fruit, which I have craisins, you know, but you can use, like, dried apricot or anything else. So you're going to start off with banana. You're going to peel it. Make sure it's uh, a ripe banana. And you could do, you know, three, four bananas. It just depends. I'm doing it so... I... <laughs> Oops. Sorry, y'all. I'm not even going to take that out. But I'm doing uh, one banana just so I won't make too many. Because the more I make, like, probably the more I'll eat. So you just want to gently mash it up. Clearly, I need a tripod. We're gonna we want to do something to fix that. But yeah, we're gonna mash it up. So it look like that. Okay. What your banana look like. You want to add your oatmeal. I didn't. I didn't add all of it. I add almost half, a little more than half of it. I'm gonna stir it up. Hope I'm. Hope I'm. Look, don't want to do too much. I don't want it to fall over again. Raisins, just for sweetness. I just had about about that much, not not too much. 
Let me stir that in. I can tell by like the way it feels. I'm gonna have to add the rest of the oatmeal. What you're going to do is you're going to let this sit for about 10 or 15 minutes. Okay? And that's what it should look like when you're finished. It doesn't look appetizing, but it tastes pretty good. <laughs> so you're going to let this sit about 10 or 15 minutes, and we'll be back. You know what I did want to do, though? I did want to add some cinnamon to mine because I wanted a, a cinnamon kind of flavor, which, you know, it's, it's your preference, but that's kind of what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like something cinnamony. So, I added some cinnamon. Yeah, that smells great. Okay, so I added some cinnamon and now I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let it sit for 10, 15 minutes and I'll be back. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. I, um, I added another half a pack of oatmeal because it did seem like a little loose. So I added another half a pack of oatmeal. What you're going to do is going to take a cookie sheet. They say an ungreased cookie sheet, but I always put aluminum foil down on mine. And you're just going to spoon it out on your cookie sheet. So, that made enough for four cookies. That's why I said if you wanted to um if you wanted to make add, you know, to make more cookies, you know, you do more banana, more oatmeal. But to get you a, a better look at what it looks like is there you go. Probably doesn't look too appetizing right now, but trust me, these are really good. My oven is preheated on 350 and these are going to go in the oven for um these are going to go in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. And I'll let you see what they look like when they come out. Okay, so I just took the cookies out the oven. They were in there for 25 minutes. And this is what they look like. I'm going to let them sit for about mm, 10 minutes to cool. And after that, they're ready to eat. But I just ate lunch, so I'm not hungry. But <laughs> these will make a great snack later. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Bye.